Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we have successfully created the calculator program and we are able to see the calculator program, right? The output we are able to see it. For example, if I try to run it once last time, so open it live server. So here we are able to see all the type of things we have solved it. So we have improved the errors also we have improved it. Now it's time for us to test the code. <clears throat> As you already know that we need to test the code. That is the main concept. That is the main agenda of this course. So in order to test this one, we need in order to do the unit testing of this calculator, we need a software that is nothing but Jasmine testing framework. So here I have, I'm opening this Jasmine testing, just type in the Google Jasmine testing and first, first one, you'll be able to see the Jasmine documentation. So in our uh, previous course, something like uh, JavaScript testing fundamentals, I have already shown you how to install this Jasmine using the NPM as an NPM module and also using the standalone also I have shown you. So if you are using something like ES6 module support and all those things, you can use this browser ES6 and Webpack support if you are using means you can use this browser setup. If you want means you can check my previous course video. So installing the Jasmine use as an for a ES6 module as an ES6 module. So right now, so we are mainly focusing on the what I can say is the testing thing. So I am not installing through the NPM or something. I will show you with the Karma. So that is an other thing. So I will show you with the Karma. Right now I will be installing using the standalone only so that to keep it as very simple and clean but if you want to know how to run this one as in uh, what i can say as an npm module so you can see that previous course and you can check it so here i am opening that more information and it will redirect us to the github so standalone means just we'll downloading we'll download that zip file and we will add it into our project so let's go to the tags here if you go to the tags you will be able to see the latest releases so this is the 4.0.0 is the latest release of the jasmine it was released 23 days ago so let's download this zip file. If you want as a NPM module means you can use NPM install Jasmine hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev and you can use it. So here you, the Jasmine zip file has been uh, downloaded. Let's go into this one show in folder and here I am trying to I will copy this one. Let's go to the project and I will paste it here directly. Okay, so I think it is not possible I think so let's reveal it in the Explorer. Let's open this one in the Explorer. So this is our project. Okay. So this is our complete project if you are able to see. So this lib where it has came. So we can remove this one directly. And I am pasting our zip file. So this is the Jasmine. So zip file. So here you will be able to see the Jasmine zip. Jasmine the whatever we have downloaded from the GitHub. Now I what I will try to do here I will extract the complete project. Okay. The complete zip file I have extracted. So so many folders have been created. So let's try to delete this zip file. So now there is no need for us to you. Uh, of this uh, zip file so all the files that have been extracted so let's go to here in the visual studio code so that we'll be able to understand very easily now what i will try to do is this is the spec file and the source file so these are the sample code that they have given how to use the jasmine as a test test script and also the javascript code they have given and also the simple sample spec file also how to write the unit test they have given so for us there is no need for these two things folders just we can delete it literally so we will we are trying to write our own specs right so there is no need for us and here you'll be able to see the lib file so this is the main file jasmine and here you'll be able to see in the jasmine 4.0.0 you will be able to see that one so for example if i open this one here in the file explorer so here in the lib file you'll be able to see so where is this one yeah in the lib file and again in the jasmine folder you'll be able to see all the jasmine installation file so now let's try to copy this one i don't want to keep i will try to keep it directly in the lib so why instead of having in the jasmine 4.0 like that so now here i am keeping it in the lib that's it so now in the lib you will be able to see all these js files okay jasmine core files so that's it so now here we are having the lib files and now if you try to see here another file has been uh, added when when we are when we have extracted the jasmine uh, software so here the spec runner.html. So this is the main HTML file where we will be seeing this Jasmine test cases. <coughs> Jasmine test results if you are trying to see. So you can see it in the spec runner. Now here we have removed this Jasmine 4.0.0 intermediate folder in the lib, right? So we can remove this one directly. Let's try to remove these all the reference paths wherever it is using the lib. Let's try to remove this Jasmine 4.0.0 as we have removed that folder. So for that reason, I am updating the paths for this one. Okay, that's it. Now here, these are the source files they have given. So we also deleted the source files. We need to write our own size, 
source files those are nothing but the calculator and spec files also are removing so here we need to add the so whatever the j source files are there so we need to add it here and what are the spec files is there we need to add it here now if, now let's try to see this one so here if i try to execute so let's try to execute this one so now that's it finished so we have successfully installed the jasmine into our project so now let's try to see the spec runner now whenever you want to see the test results you need to run this spec runner dot html file now if you see here the jasmine and the version 4.0.0 this is the version and here you will be able to see some of the options something like stop execution on spec failure so these are some configuration options you will be able to see stop spec on expectation failure run test in random order random order hide disabled test so these are some of the options we'll try, we'll try to see it and here you will be able to see incomplete and there are no specs found so now the jasmine was unable to find the specs why because it's correct only so we have not written any specs so that is the reason jasmine was unable to find the specs so that's it now so that's it so we are able to see the jasmine test case output now if you try to see here so there are some couple of files that has been added in the spec runner so this is the five icon as you already know about this one and this is the lib slash jasmine.css file so if you try to open the jasmine.css file so this is the this is the css file so for uh, the spec runner if you are able to see this one this all design so this is coming from the css file if you try to remove that css file so i will try to remove this css file and i will show you if you try to run this one see the entire css design has been gone so that means the css is coming from the jasmine.css so this is the file that is responsible and here if you try to see this is a jasmine.js file and here is the this uh, jasmine.js file is the core file so this is the core file you will be able to see all the jasmine and all those things so what are the spice uh, these are all things you will be able to see and another one what we are able to see is here is jasmine have an html.js file so this is the js file which is responsible to render the dom so this is all the dom so this is all the html to render that html so this js file is responsible if you try to open the html.js file and here you will be able to see some creating see here creating dom create dom create dom and you they are having some method and in that method they will be adding function create dom yeah here you will be having the dom and they are creating an element and like this they are trying to do they are trying to create the html output output for the spec runner and the another one is a boot zero dot js file so this is the boot file so which will add all the jasmine uh, uh, global global uh, global properties and all those things it will try to add it and if you want to do some configuration you can do the configuration again the boot one dot js file will be loaded so this is the configuration file also and afterwards you will be adding source files what are the source file source files you want to test it so you will be adding the source files and he down you'll be able to uh, you'll be adding the spec files so what are the what are the spec files so testing files you have so you'll be adding it down so in the next video we will try to see how to add the how to add the source file and how to create the spec let's try to see this one so this is all about the installation of jasmine so here you can write the title you can change the title simple calculator testing something like this you can write it okay so this is how we will be installing the jasmine as a standalone if you want means you can install it as an es6 module support also nothing wrong is there you can try like that also as a browser support or as a node support also you can do it so hope you understood about this installation of installation of jasmine so in the next video we'll try to write the test cases and we'll try to learn about the test suite uh, specs and test fillers try to learn about those all things so hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel Thank you.